Hey guys, back again, new video for you here. So, I'm a bit ill at the moment, so there's going to be some weird edits as I cough and splutter and blow my nose and stuff. So, apologies for that. Um, but I wanted to give you, first off, a quick recap of what I bought last time. So, last video was my box from Facebook, Arrow Pops, things along those lines. And out of that box, uh, I'm keeping two of them by the looks of it. So, I sold Odin, I sold K9. Felicity Smoke. Uh, there's currently bids sat on Speedy and Green Arrow. Uh, Cyberman I've sold as well. Looks like I get to keep the um, Oliver Queen with the Island Scars and the Deathstroke because I've made my money back. Excellent. Um, so there's been a bit of a thing on um, Twitter last week about reselling and things like that uh, from Diz Funko. So if you didn't see that, essentially he asked the question of, if you just resell pops, are you still a collector? Now, in my eyes, what I've done there, and what I will probably do with a couple of these ones as well, is still a collection. I'm still getting what I want, but it just so happens that I'm buying packages with other stuff in them, and I'm getting rid of that stuff that I don't want. And I'm, I'm selling it on eBay. In my mind, well, I'm letting people that want what I've got in these boxes, that other people are selling, enjoy them as well. And I'm enjoying the stuff that I'm keeping hold of. So there's a couple in here I want to keep. There's a couple that I don't want, that I don't know about either. Um, one in particular, I've got no idea what it is. So why not? take what someone else is selling as a job lot and get that out into the world. Sounds good to me. Hope you agree. If not, leave a comment. If you do agree, leave a comment. Basically, I want some comments. <laughs> now, on to today's box. So, what I've got is, I think there's eight or nine um, that I bought on eBay. So, on eBay, there was a lot that I was looking at. It was £35, so I thought, well, that's a bit much for what's in there, or there's a couple that I want, but some that I don't, so probably not going to look at it. I put it to watch just in case, if it came up again later in time, if it was relisted, if it didn't sell, maybe I could pick it up. However, about 10 minutes later, I got a notification that the price had dropped. It went down to £25. So I thought, okay, I'll definitely keep an eye on that then. 25 quid. there's a few bits in there that I can go on, pass on, and go from there. What I then thought is, it says best offers. Let's be a bit cheeky. I popped in an offer for £20. £5 postage, so £25 from me or no. See how it goes. Eight pops, 20 quid. It's probably not going to happen, but you never know. And they've accepted the offer for 20 quid, which is mad. So, Let's get into the box. I'll show you what we got for £20. The only thing I will say is this person had a box that was too small for everything that they had. So some of them have been squished in and a few of them have been damaged in transit. <sighs> really slightly annoying. The one that I know I will definitely sell on uh, because it is worth a bit more than the others is okay, thankfully. So that's going to be all right from that front. A couple of the ones that I wanted to keep hold of are a bit damaged. Luckily the sides that I display like this are okay. And to be honest I think this display may have to change as well. Um, but that's a story for another deal, day. So first off we will go and show you Harry Potter. Uh, so this is the ones in his Gryffindor robes. So there's a better image of it there. Um, sticker on the side, security protected. So I believe most of these stickers are HMV. Um, but there's no price or anything like that. So this is a 2016. So if you don't know, this code here is the year, the month, and then the date that they were created and boxed up. Um, so this one is a bit damaged. There's a bit of a crease there you can see in the light. Um, and just generally it's just a bit worse for wear. It looks like it's been dropped on this corner. Um, this one was damaged. It did take a picture of the damage on the listing. So that's fine. Um, again, I've not got any Harry Potter ones, I don't mind the films, but 
probably will look to pass this on. I know a few people that do like Harry Potter, so maybe see if they want it and go from there. Next one we've got, though, is C-3PO. So this is the Red Arm C-3PO from The Last Jedi. Um, he's chromed as well, which obviously this part of the Underground Toy exclusive. I really like this. Um, as you can see, the top is a bit loose. Um, there's bits of damage down on the bottom corners, so, but a bit of a tear up in there as well. But overall, it's a good condition. I don't think too many people would be that worried if I were to sell this, but it's possible that I may keep hold of this, because I do like the chrome on there. I could put him next to group, and we can compare the two. Now this next one, I have no idea what this is, like I said. So it's the Widowmaker from Overwatch. In all honesty, I've got an Xbox 360. I haven't played a game on it in two or three years, where I've been doing it at the house, and life gets in the way. Um, and I never upgraded to an Xbox One or PS4 or anything like that, so if you want to give me some information on this, then that would be great, because there's a giant monkey called Winston, and some kind of Reaper, some kind of skull-faced fellow at the top. And then Soldier 76, I know there was an, um, a Grillmaster exclusive at San Diego, um, but this one actually is not in bad condition, there's a few little marks on the box. It was obviously opened at some point because it was obviously sellotape shut and you can see that there's just a, it's not sticky but there's some kind of residue there. So yeah, I mean it's a, it's a nice looking pop. I don't know if you can see much in the detail in there. She's got a sniper rifle seemingly and just, I mean it's a nice looking pop. Um, I'm sure someone will want it. I've got a friend that plays a lot of video games so maybe he'll want it. Um, if not, eBay it is. Um, what else we got? So this one is Ryu from Street Fighter. Um, I really like the Ryu pop. It's probably one that I will keep hold of as well. This one was specifically squashed into the box. It was kind of... Well, you can see that that bit shouldn't be there. Um, there's crumpling up on the top. It was pretty much... It, you could tell the guy kind of squished it in. Which is disappointing, uh, but again, that side is clear, so I can display it myself. So yeah, I mean, it's a nice little pop. Um, seeing as though the box is wrecked, why not get it out and let you have a quick look. This one again, a 2016. And there he is. So yeah, so I mean, it's, it's quite cool. Um, there was a range of 8-bit pops. I think GameStop did them. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's quite cool. He's right. Um, I think the 8-bit is actually given the Hadouken, it's all it's got the fireball in there as well, so that's quite cool. Uh, what have we got next? We've got Deadpool. So this is, I believe this is like the original Deadpool. Um, now this one again, damaged in transit, there's this rip on the front here. Um, the picture's on eBay, they, do, they take a front on picture of all of them. This one had no damage, and now it does. It's also got tape on the top here as well, so it looks like it's not cut tape, so it looks like someone has sealed it themselves. Um, <clears throat> but again, I mean, he's quite cool. He's got his gun, he's got his sword. This is probably one that I'd like to keep hold of as well. Uh, Bobblehead, being marble. So, big fan of that one. Um, obviously, you've got Deadpool with Bob Ross behind all this now. So, I do like Deadpool. Next one we got here is Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. So this one, like I say, is going for a little bit more than, than the others at the moment. So this is going to get sold. Um, I know they do a, a flocked Scooby now in The Entertainer, uh, which I think is an exclusive there as well. Uh, so it's about £13 I saw on the website. So if you do want that, go get it. Um, but yeah, they do the whole Scooby gang there. Best thing I like on this is Scooby Snacks. He's actually got some of the little snacks in his hand as well. So the box on this is pristine as well, so I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, I think they, these are going for normally around somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds online. So again, I can sell that. I can make the money back on the box. So I can keep Deadpool, I can keep Ryu, and I can keep what else is in the box here as well. So looking that I've got 
Two left in the box, we have eight altogether. Eight for £20 or £25 with postage. Quite happy with that. Now, this is one that I haven't had this one previously. I've had this character. I had two versions of it and I sold them both because they were vaulted. Um, one was from one of their solo films, one was from a, a group film, so you can probably guess that it's Marvel. Uh, and it's Captain America. So this is the one from Civil War. So I had Age of Ultron and Winter Soldier. I had Winter Soldier uh, with a stealth suit. Yeah, so it, this one's got the shield on the back, so let me pop this open as well. Now the coolest thing about this, before I pop it open, it was bought in Harrods. So Harrods, if you don't know, very expensive shop in, in London. And there he is. So the bubble on this, the head is a bit lower than normal, which is a bit strange. Um, so much so that his back of his head's covered in the shield a bit. Um, so he's a bit shorter than what I think he should be. But all in all, I really like that. I love that he's got the shield on the back. Um, the Age of Ultron one had the shield on the arm. And I can't remember where the Winter Soldier one had his shield, but I really love this suit. It's been the same suit since um, Age of Ultron, like I say, and it's just a really, really nice, nice suit. Works really well, um, and it's good. Anyway, <laughs> don't know how I get from good anywhere else it's a bit of a, an odd segue but this last one again it's been damaged in transit which is really annoying because i really wanted this one out a lot and again it's civil war and this is the iron man unmasked so this entire corner has basically been smushed there's a dent in the top there's creases and just really annoyed about this one more than any of them i sent the guy a message and just said look if you're gonna, I, I paid twenty pounds, so overall fair enough. But if you're gonna sell them to anyone else, package them a lot better. Um, he said he took that feedback on board, but whether he did or not is another question. I really like this. The only thing that I do keep noticing is every time I look at the face, I think it's Ron Swanson. Um, there we go. So just that, just because you can see the moustache and nothing else, you can't see the rest of the beard. It just looks a little bit like he's just grown a moustache. Um, <laughs> but again, there's some really nice detailing on there. And it's... The Iron Man ones always do my head in because of the eyes. As you can see on here, they've got pop eyes on... Pop eyes? <laughs> they've got the eyes from, from the normal pops on the Iron Man helmets, which... <laughs> just I don't like I mean even with Hulkbuster they're there and it's just yeah just slightly annoying but what are you gonna do the Venom Iron Man the Venomized Iron Man is slightly different and that does look better for it but I think I've mentioned in previous videos I don't like how shiny it is so I might have to buy one and just paint it matte black you never know um I'm going to sign up for Pop in a Box subscription soon, so that's I'm going to go for two a month. That is going to be on on my wish list for that. So maybe you know we've got eight pops, twenty five pounds, so it works out three or four pound each. Really happy with what that is. A bit of a disappointment about the damage, but these things happen. If you are going to sell stuff on eBay, on Facebook, anywhere, if you're going to ship pops. Bubble wrap, extra box. I mean, I've just shipped one out. Um, I sent a Cyberman. A Cyberman from the last box I sold, £13, about retail. Um, I had the box, if you've seen my video where I got the Red Ranger, it was kind of almost two, uh, the size of about two pops, slightly smaller. Um, I packed it up in that, bubble wrapped it, made sure it doesn't shake around. So that should turn out to that guy. I've written fragile all over the box as well. So that should turn out to that guy. He should be very happy with it. I mean, this box is this kind of size. So yes, you can get eight pops in it, but it is a very tight squeeze. I tried to rearrange them myself to get them 
so I could just shut the box up, bring it upstairs. Just it just wasn't going to happen. But just think about that if you're going to if you're going to send stuff yourself. If you do buy stuff from me, you just so happen to to come across me on eBay. Trust, I'm going to try and package it as best I can. Um, whether that uses kitchen roll occasionally, toilet roll, I pad stuff out and just make sure it's not going to get damaged too badly. But some people don't take the same care. Anyway, that's it from me. I'm ill. Thanks very much for watching, putting up with my voice and the constant edits to get away with my coughing. Have a great day, guys. We'll speak to you soon.